What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today we are talking about the Tesla pickup truck or Model P. This has been a car that has been rumored to be in the works for years. It was hinted at in Tesla's master plan, part de. We just got confirmation from Elon Musk on Twitter, a tweet from a fan that said, need an electric pickup truck, please. And then he replies, I promise that we will make a pickup truck right after Model Y. Have had the core design slash engineering elements in my mind for almost five years now. I'm dying to build it. This is super exciting news. I mean, for all those who have been following Tesla, this is right in line with the company's mission to accelerate the transition off of fossil fuels. The pickup truck is one of the best selling cars in America. You know, it was only a matter of time before they began to tackle this market and launch their own. Now let's talk about the timeline of the pickup. Elon Musk did give us a clue in April 2017 when he said that he expected to unveil the pickup truck. He said that would be coming in 18 to 24 months. That puts the unveiling date around 2019 or 2020 for the pickup. My guess is they'll start deliveries of this pickup truck around 2022 or 2023. You might say that sounds far off, but really that's only four to five years away before this truck actually hits the market. For longer term investors like myself, this could be a real needle mover in the thesis for Tesla. Let me explain why. This chart says it all. In 2016, US pickup truck sales were 2.7 million units, up 6% from the year before. Compare this to the small and mid-sized luxury sedan segment combined, and we have a market that is three times the size. Now, why is this small to mid-sized luxury sedan number important and comparable? That is the market that the Model 3 is addressing, and the Model 3 was able to rack up 500,000 pre-orders. The pickup truck has three times as big of an addressable market as the Model 3. I mean, it's conceivable in the long term, Tesla could be selling over a million pickup trucks per year. Just to put things in context, the Ford F-Series alone sold 821,000 units in 2016, making it the number one selling pickup truck in America. The Chevy Silverado was number two with 575,000 units. You know, this just gets me so excited. If we look at what Tesla's done in the really high-end luxury sedan market, the Model S is now the number one selling large luxury sedan in the entire country. If we see anything like those kind of market share gains in the pickup truck, this is a 20 to 30 to 40 billion dollar revenue product for Tesla. Why are people going to buy the pickup truck? Well, the first thing is it's going to be all electric. Trucks are notoriously get really bad miles per gallon and fuel efficiency. Going electric means you're reducing your carbon footprint substantially. So I think that's going to move the needle and get a lot of consumers to buy it. But additionally, even beyond that, if electricity continues to get cheaper and solar and the price of batteries continue to improve in four to five years, then you could be looking at drastic fuel savings from with going from an electric pickup to something that's an internal combustion engine pickup. Additionally, the Tesla pickup, my guess, is going to look something like a mini Tesla semi truck. And this is something that Elon Musk already hinted about on Twitter and makes me super stoked. The Tesla semi truck blew away everybody's expectations of what the specification for what an electric semi truck could do. I think the electric pickup is going to be no different. So here in this chart, as you can see, I'm estimating they start with 10,000 deliveries in 2022, ramp quickly to 250,000 in 2023, and about 500,000 in 2024. Assuming that the pickup truck market in the US stays about the same size, that 500,000 trucks delivered looks like a really, really big number, but that would still be below 20% market share of just the US pickup truck market. I'm assuming about 45,000 in average revenue per truck. This is just some quick Googling. Now my gut says this is probably a very low ball estimate for the average selling price. According to my unit projections of 10,000 cars in 2022, that'd be equivalent to 450 million in revenue. Then we're scaling to about 11 billion in revenue in 2023 if they can deliver 250,000 cars cars, then over $22 billion in revenue in 2024 when they get sort of fully ramped by my expectations and they deliver 500,000 cars. So we are looking at a product that could be bigger than the Model 3. I mean, the addressable market is much bigger. And even beyond that, I think this is going to be a huge moment. You know, if you think about the kind of per person that buys the pickup truck, not only is it for people who want to get practical work done, moving stuff from A to B, construction jobs, who are really going to care about the economics and performance of the truck, it's a very different consumer than who's buying the Model S or Model 3. Tesla's retail stores and supercharger networks are all located on the coastal cities and the coastal regions of the US. Based on my initial analysis, it looks like pickup truck sales are almost inverted from Tesla's retail footprint and are more in the center of the country. I think it'll take longer for the Tesla pickup truck to take off and hit scale than some of its other cars because of this demographic shift. But the bottom line is, if the specifications are as good as how the Tesla Semi was and so disruptive to every other pickup truck on the market, I think it's going to be a no-brainer to switch. Okay, so you're some big Tesla guy who's got the diesel Ford F-150 showing it off. Imagine some guy next to you has got the Tesla truck. He loads
loads it up with twice as much gear, still beats you in a drag race, and the car has 500 miles of range, which is the same, about the same as your car. So this is my wrap up. You know, I think, yes, it's really far out. Yes, it may be, you know, two years late and we may not see this hit scale production until 2026. But I think this is a perfect example of why I'm invested in Tesla and why I love the company. Their battery technology, their electric drivetrain technology, their expertise at software is allowing them to enter so many new product categories. And remember, their vision is to get us off of fossil fuels. This is a huge task. If you read Master Plan Part De, Elon Musk wants to expand Tesla into every mode of terrestrial transport. That means even after the pickup truck, there's going to be so many categories left for this company to disrupt. That is why you cannot value them as a traditional automaker. Not only is their entire business model with the way they're vertically integrated, with the way they sell their cars in retail stores, with the way they do no advertising, totally different than every other automaker, but their technology is going to allow them to enter categories that other automakers would never dream of entering. Yes, I'm talking about planes, boats, everything like that in the future. On a broader note, I'm also going to put out a video updating my Tesla model with projections through 2024 just for fun so I can show you guys what I'm kind of thinking the financial implications are of the pickup in regard to every other vehicle. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I would love to know what you guys think in terms of sales projections. Is this going to be as successful at taking market share as the Model S and the Model 3? You tell me. Probably RIP Ford when this happens. Ford's entire business is almost built on the F-Series truck. I think they are going to get decimated when the Model P comes out. So that's just my gut instinct. Anyway, this is Hyper Change. I will see you guys next time. Peace.